Opening day. A religious holiday in South Dakota, actually. <laughs> and we're going out to the prayerful fields to bless the pheasants. It's a buckshot blessing, which they don't always appreciate. But, but we do. We do the best we can. Yeah. Right. Let the games begin. Ooh, opening day in South Dakota. This is a honey hole. I'm really ready. <laughs> John, there are a couple right up in this corner. All right. I think they got your name on them, Tom. Rooster! That's it. Nice shot. Good shot, Chris. Yeah, I tell you what, pheasant hunting in South Dakota, pheasant hunting anywhere, but especially in South Dakota, no state does it with this kind of spectacle and theater. You know, birds everywhere. Rooster! Yes! Pretty, pretty, pretty. Good shot, Senator. Thanks, Chris. Every once in a while you get lucky. This might be a little bit overstating it, but it's kind of exhilarating, <laughs> actually, when you get out here. Uh, there's nothing quite like it. You know, there's no place I guess I'd rather be. Being with uh, old friends and uh, just celebrating and experiencing a very unique South Dakota tradition. We do call it our state holiday. And uh, it is bigger for a lot of people in our state than Christmas and birthday and everything else combined. I mean, is, this is as good as it gets. And while the hunting is incredible, my company for this shoot is equally engaging as I'm taking to the field with three men at the pinnacles of their professions. Senator John Thune of South Dakota, Jeff Crane, president of the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation, and native South Dakotan and American icon, Tom Brokaw. Hey, hey! Let it go, Brokaw. Nice shot. Getting his groove on now. Tom Brokaw is a South Dakota legend, and uh, he's somebody who hasn't forgotten where he came from. He is back here a lot. He supports our state in so many ways. I haven't lived in South Dakota for more than 50 years now, but I'm still drawn back to it, and it's because of this. A few years ago, people said we just ought to turn it back to the, to the Buffalo Commons. But the fact is, it's now the food basket of the world, and it has the added advantage of the greatest concentration of Chinese ringneck peasants anywhere in North America. Birdie Rooster! Good shot! In the fall when people ask me to do something or go somewhere, I know often the trips are very appealing. I say, no, it's a religious holiday in South Dakota. I've got to go pheasant hunting. <laughs> they don't quite understand what I'm talking about. But the fact is I'm really proud of how the state has managed that because it's, it has dual purpose. It's great for the economy, but it's also great for conservation. You know, it's it's great for the long-term health of the state. Whoa, that's you. Somebody, somebody. Somebody else shoot it. There you go. That's it. Yeah, I mean, South Dakota, it's about a $300 million a year impact on our economy. And we'll have uh, over 100,000 out-of-state hunters come to South Dakota, uh, spending money in our small towns, in our hotels, in our restaurants. And, um, you know, so it's, a, it's something that has a tremendous value to our economy here in South Dakota. It's a very big deal. And, uh, and we celebrate it. So can you run for a public office in South Dakota and not have a pheasant license? Oh, absolutely not. Yeah, I don't know how you'd ever explain that. <laughs> Rooster! <laughs> nice! You've done this before. Oh, this is fantastic. I mean, we're in South Dakota, the mecca of pheasant hunting, hunting with Chris Dorsey and Tom Brokaw and Senator John Thune. I mean, this is awesome. What a great opening day. Rooster! That's it. Oh, yeah, Crane. Double, nice shot, Jeff. I was fortunate enough to have a father that was a hunter, took me out as a kid, and uh, this to me is, this is a tradition, this is a, a ritual, this is a rite of passage when you're a young man, uh, to be able to safely handle a firearm, the responsibility of that, the coordination that goes along with hunting upland birds in particular. Uh, it's just a, it's a great component of the American culture in my mind. Brewster! Jeff! There nice. you go. Why do you have two barrels to these things? <laughs> you know, it's fun. It's fun to get Jeff out here. I've known Jeff for years and he, he runs the Congressional Sportsman's Foundation which is a pretty neat deal because it's a bipartisan caucus, I think it's the largest in the U.S. Congress, where they come together to help support sportsmen's issues, conservation issues, land access, just regulatory issues and things like that. So as sportsmen, we got a big voice out here. We ought to have a voice. Fine organization. 
There, oh, there go. you go, right here, Jeff. Shot of the day, right here. 15 feet. Oh, baby! Oh, what a shot! Woo! Pretty, pretty, pretty. Wow, you could retire on that one, but who'd want to? I'm not gonna. Oh, that was pretty. As great as the hunting is here in the Golden Triangle, there's simply no way to exaggerate how much better it is when your home base is the incomparable Paul Nelson Farm. Well, there are lodges all across South Dakota, and uh, this has become a very big economic driver for us here in our state. Um, Paul Nelson, of course, does it on a, a scale uh, unlike uh, most others. This didn't happen by accident. I mean, this is an extraordinarily well-designed habitat. Rooster! Say goodnight, Rooster. <laughs> and uh, the results are, are just outstanding pheasant hunting because when you have good habitat, you're gonna have birds. And when you have birds, you're gonna have good hunting. <laughs> I love that dog. Purdy, purdy, purdy. Jeff! That'll do. Nice shot. Good dog. Like you say, it never gets old. Yeah, you know. And every shot's different, you know? You know, and then you have to follow this up with like cocktail hour, a gourmet meal. Yeah, they call this flyover country. All right, <laughs> yeah, just keep right. flying over as far as I'm concerned. Jeff! That's a way to do it. <laughs> All right. Signal for a fair catch. Pheasant hunting got such a great tradition in the Midwest and in South Dakota is synonymous with pheasant hunting and being here on opening day at the Paul Nelson farm is just such a fantastic treat. Oh, rooster! There you go, Chris. That's not even fair. I've been fortunate enough to know all these great members of the Congress. John Thune, I've known for years. I've worked with him, I've worked with his staff, but I've never had the chance to go out in the field with him. And what a great pleasure it was to go on the opening day of South Dakota's pheasant season and hunt with John Thune. That was a big bird. Yeah, he had a nice uh, long tail. Hunting is something that out here in the middle of the country, in the heartland, uh, it's part of our roots. It's part of our heritage. It, it's something that's really wholesome and really good. And I, I wish that, you know, you think about young people today and all the distractions and activities and things that they have to do. I hope that we never lose sight of the, the lessons that they learn out hunting, the appreciation for the outdoors, the importance of being good stewards of the things that we've been given. Those are all, I think, really valuable lessons that we want to impart to that next generation. And the hunting experience really does that. Tom, Tom. Yeah. Nicely done. Headshot. Good lead, man. That bird was scooting. Some of my friends in New York kind of say, you hunt? And uh, I say, yeah, I do, and I love it. And uh, we, we eat what we kill, and um, okay. it's been a part of my life, and it's part of this country. There it is. Great shot, Tom. Beautiful. I love it. I'm a bird hunter. I'm not a big game hunter, but I'm out there with my dog and, and, and hunting birds. It's hard to replicate. Well, he caught one. He got your bird. Red does? He got He ran out and Red got it. Come here, Red. Oh, that's a pretty bird. Pretty good for a New York dog. Yeah, he's pretty good. <laughs> he's pretty good. Yeah, you're off. He's fun to watch. I mean, that's a fun dog to watch. Yeah. He doesn't know he's a flusher. He thinks he's a pointer. Is he just happy to be out of New York? Yeah. <laughs> well, my friends are just hooting and how bringing a New York dog to South Dakota. <laughs> At the end of the day, one of them said to me, you know, that dog can't be happy in the city. I, mean, I think you just leave her here. You know, I'll take care of her, it'll be just fine. He was serious. I said, get a wife. <laughs> I don't do the kennel thing. He sleeps in our bed if he needs to. You know, I mean, he's very social. But when he gets here, he knows why he's here. He's here and yeah. um, the instinct it's fine. That a boy. The rest of us all great, but when you have a bird dog, it works. Doesn't get any better than that, frankly. Chris, rooster! Oh, <laughs> get him! Here, Mac. Good dog. More birds, more birds. Look at this. Oh, whoa! Good shot, Tom. Oh. There you go. Nice shooting, Chris. Although the ringneck pheasant is not indigenous to North America, it's found a permanent home here in the Rushmore State, where I'm honored to share opening day with three incredibly accomplished fellow hunters. 
shot. Dead bird. Yeah, I think slowing down to really, look at them all. Holy cow, look at the birds coming out of there. Look at that. Oh my God, what am I doing? That's what you call a South Dakota spectacle. Unless there are 100 birds in there. Birds everywhere. Every man for himself. Holy cow, look at all these birds. Try to get out the back door. You got him? Yeah, he's down hard outside. He's on him. Mr. Tom! <laughs> That's a good thing you had a quick gun on that one. Yeah. 28 gauge, five feet. That was <laughs> use enough gun. That's a heck of a shot. Your pattern was about that big at that right. distance. <laughs> A truly historic hunt is filled with great friends, epic game, and grand, glorious vistas, where memories are made, missed shots are forgotten, and time-honored traditions are respected and celebrated, and then passed on to the next generation. Well, that was fun and Heck humbling. Yeah. It was awesome. It's just like I remembered. <laughs>